Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. In as much as logarithms can be complicated, but um, they are one of the simplest areas of your mathematics, which I will encourage you to uh, get more marks when it comes to your final exam. You just need to master a few things, master a few laws, and you will see that most of the questions that they bring about, it's a repetition, which means um, there is nothing extra new that they can bring. You just need to master um, the first laws, and then you'll find that everything that they're doing is repetition. One of the common questions that they bring about is the one that I've just um, decided to share with you. It says in this question, simplify the following logarithm. So, okay, it's a log. And this is without use of a calculator. And then it says, show all your steps. Now, the moment they say without the use of a calculator and they wanted to show all the steps, my first thing that I'm tempted to do is to take the calculator and with the calculator, I first find the answer and work towards that particular answer. So now let us punch this whole thing, enter it into the calculator and see what it leads me to. So I've got in this case, eight log. So now I'm going to use that one and then E it's shift lean where there is that e but it's got a an extra box usually you put just power one there play forward and then square root you see that square root of e again shift e that power because there's nothing there you put a power one then moving on plus then you've got log put that one which allows you to put a base of 16 and then play forward you have minus and then you put a bracket it says log base 10 and then you have 25 it closed the bracket plus sometimes you find that it did not close the bracket it is your duty to close the bracket after putting a log and then plus log for example if i just use this log you can see that there is no bracket if i say 45 it means i must close that bracket myself but in this case it says plus if i use that log automatically it closes log base 10 of 4 so it closed there and then my answer becomes 6 so you can see that this simplified to the answer of 6 so what is my aim? My aim is to get six. So now let us work uh, this kind of a problem and see how to get that particular answer of six. Now let, uh, let me start with the first part. The first part that I'm going to uh, start with is uh, this part before the sign. Now with that part, it's eight log base E square root of e i mean i'm just writing five you know my hand sometimes just write things that i don't know that i didn't even tell you to write you know sometimes these hands are naughty okay uh, joking about that this is equal to log now if i put the eight there remember i've got log base e now that square root is the same as you are putting that now there is a two hidden there so and there is a one there so it's one over two these are the laws of exponents and then you write that e like that this is from the laws of exponents when you do 
that now using the laws of um, logarithms when you've got a power just to uh, remind you that particular law the law says if you are given log in base a of x to the power of m is equal to now that law says this particular m will drop down to go before the log so that it will become m and then if i can maintain the color there it will be m log base of a of x so this is a law that i'm using here so now with that particular law what i will have then in my uh, previous expression it will be equal to 8 now when it comes this side it will multiply and becomes 1 over 2 all right and then i've got my log base e of e now you know that if i say 8 times in this case 8 times a half it's more like i'm saying half of 8 it becomes 4 so this is 4 again here i have to use a law here now the law says log base a of a is equal to 1 what is the law focusing on if the base and the number matches then it becomes a 1 similarly here you can see that i have got my e and my e doesn't matter whether it's xx whether it's 55 five. as long as it matches it becomes a 1 so this is 4 times 1 which is equal to 4 okay so far so good so we have gotten that now let us move on to the next one the next one that we are going to be looking at is if i can just because of my space it's not the it's not complicated this one i'm going to be looking at log base 2 of 16. now this one is not complicated because i have to now write 16 the moment they gave me the base the hint there is the base of 2. so the question is if they gave me 2 i must find 16 in terms of 2 so this is same as log base 2 and 16 is same as um take a calculator now look at it is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that is 4 times so which is 2 to the power 4 i get a 16 so this is same as 2 to the power of 4 but again if you still remember uh, in this particular rule that i used in here when i say it when there is a power you drop so that 4 will drop also in this case and the 4 will drop such that I'll be having, in this case, that 4 will drop and I'll have log 2 of 2, they need to be 4 times 1 and that will become more like I've got 4. So the, which means uh, this part is a 4, this part is also a 4 now let us look at the one that is in brackets the reason that they put it in brackets is because you need to treat it as a single entity or a single thing so what what they did there is everything inside the bracket which is log base 10 of 25 plus log base 10 of four they are saying treat this thing as one thing and also you can see that the bases are the same meaning that there is a lot common with that so now what law are you going to use if you still remember the laws of logarithms it says log in base of a of x there is a plus log in base of a of y this is the law is equal to log in base of a of x times y or xy so this is a law that will be applied in this particular part so we have the plus sign as you can see so it means 
in this case it will be equal to now log base 10 now I take 25 then I multiply it with 4 I think you can see that and therefore if it was continuing it was going to be log base 10 25 times 4 is simple a hundred now this further continues to become log base 10 you know when you say 100 you must know 100 is 10 to the power of 2 similarly you can see that this is one of the most common laws that you must always know whereby if the power drops down and in this case you will have a 2 there 2 log 10 of 10 so which is the answer becomes 2 times 1 which is equal to a 2 so which means this whole part there becomes more like a 2 so whenever you are solving this if you um, put it all together now just to put uh, all this in more of that box and then I say the answer you know what it will be that particular answer will be 4 remember the first part gave me a 4 plus a 4 and then the, sec the last one was minus 2 now 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 2 it is 6 and if you still remember our final answer also from the calculator gave a 6 so that is how you can approach the working of this but remember as you are working in an exam you need to show all this working in your in your paper the only things that they do not want you to show is these particular laws you can forget about the laws like that like that and like that do not write the laws but you can actually apply the laws and actually these laws are also given in your at the end of your question paper in the formula sheet so you need just to apply them you can write them it's always good it's it's a sign to show that you know what you're doing but the application of these laws is what they are looking for thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you